Hello friends, this video, Polynomials Part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Polynomials Part 1 to Part 4. Now let's discuss number of zeros for quadratic polynomial. Please note it's a quadratic polynomial. Till now what we have discussed, we have discussed number of zeros for linear polynomials. So quadratic polynomial is of the form ax square plus bx plus c. We have learned this and we should know that this polynomial such kind of polynomials can have nil one or two zeros that is at the max two zeros it can have zero zeros it can have one zeros and it can have two zeros also now in this slide we'll say we'll see the example where it has nil zero that is no zeros let's take this scenario px is nothing but x square plus four correct let's plot this graph so we'll get p0 is nothing but 0 square plus 4 that is 4 correct p of 1 is nothing but 1 square plus 4 that is 5 p of minus 1 is nothing but 1 square plus 4 that is 5 p of minus 2 is nothing but minus 2 square plus 4 that is 4 plus 4 8 p of 2 is nothing but 2 square plus 4 that is again a so let's have this point so we have these points this is nothing but x is 0 and y is 4 this is nothing but x is 1 y is 5 this is nothing but x is equal to minus 1 and y is 5 this point is nothing but x equal to minus 2 because we are taking minus 2 here and the result came out to 8 so this is 8 and this point is nothing but in comma this is clear because in x coordinates I am putting the value of this these things p of k k and y we are I am putting the value of actual value of that came out that is p of 0 p of 1 p of 2 these points I got let me plot this this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 let's see this is minus 1 minus 2 I need only these points this is 1 2 3, 4, this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So once I have this point, let me plot 0, comma 4. So this is nothing but this point. Or let me do one thing since I have more values in y coordinates. So what I can do is let me make this like this x square plus this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 6 7 8 9 correct what I have done since my values in the y coordinates are 4 5 8 so I need to have a scale which has at least 8 9 values so that's what I have done. This is 1, this is 2, half is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, this is 8, and this is 9. Similarly, here also, same thing. But I don't need this because anyway, all values are positive. So this is my coordinate. First point is 0, 4. 0, 4 is this point. I'll plot this point here. Second is 1, 5. So 1, 5 is this point. Third is minus 1, 5 is this point. Correct? For this minus 2 comma 8 is this point. Fifth is again 2 comma 8 is this point. So if you see the graph is something like this. Something like this. Goes up. Goes up. So if you see such kind of graph will never get opportunity to meet excesses. Because this graph is going up. This graph is going up. It will never come down because it is our x square form. It will never come down. It will always go up. This guy will always go up. Right? So this will never get opportunity to meet x-axis. Since this guy will never meet x-axis, so we can say that this will never have a zero. So the number of zeros is nil. Number of zeros for x square plus 4, this function is nothing but is nil. There is no zero. Correct? what we have done is we have taken this function x square plus 4 we have plotted the graph 
After plotting the graph, we have found that this graph is never meeting the x-axis. Since this graph is never meeting the x-axis, we can very well say that this graph is having nil zeros. Correct? So this is one example of quadratic polynomial because the polynomial which we took here is a quadratic. This polynomial is having nil zeros. In next example, we'll take one polynomial which has one zeros. Let me do that. So this has one zeros. To do this, let's take this polynomial. Uh, let's suppose they take y is equal to x square or px is equal to x square. px is equal to x square. This is the polynomial we have taken where a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 0. So for this polynomial, let's now draw the, uh, let's find the plot points. p of 0 is 0, that is x square, 0 square is 0. p of 1 is 1 square is 1. p of minus 1 is minus 1 square 1. p of 2 is nothing but 2 square is 4. p of minus 2 is nothing but minus 2 square again 4. Correct? Why? Because minus, this is plus 2 square. This is minus 2 square, this is minus 1 square, this is 1 square. Alright? Again, p of 3 is nothing but 3 square, that is 9. I'll write here 3 square. And p of minus 3 is also minus 3 square, that is 9. Correct? Because minus 3 square is 9, we all know. So we have these values. This value is nothing but 0, 0. Why? Because x is 0 and y is 0. This value is 1, 1 y x is 1 y is 1 this is minus 1 comma 1 this point is minus 1 comma 1 x is minus 1 y is 1 this value is 2 comma 4 this is 2 comma 4 this value is minus 2 comma 4 minus 2 comma 4 and this is 3 comma 9 and this is minus 3 comma 9 now we have this points let's plot this this is 0 since we have 0 to 9 and x is 0 to 4 and take like this 0 1 2 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 1 2 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 correct now into the minus here. The first point is 0, 0, this is the point. Second is 1, 1, that is this is the point. Third is minus 1, 1, this is the point. Fourth is 2, 4, this is the point. Fifth is minus 2, 4, this is the point. Sixth is 3, 9, somewhere there. Seventh is uh, minus 3, 9, somewhere. Here. So if you see this graph, this graph is something like this. Let's go like this. And this function goes like It should be straight at like this. So if you see this graph also, this graph meets x axis at this point. That is 0, 0. So this is nothing but 0 of this polynomial function. And also if you see this graph is going up, this is going up. So it will not get any other opportunity to meet x axis again. So we can say there is only one zero. There is only one zero of this polynomial function and that value is zero. Correct? So this is one example where you have one zero of the quadratic polynomial function. In the previous foil what we have seen that there was a polynomial with nil zero and now we have seen there is a polynomial with one zero. So this two is complete. In the next slide, we'll see a polynomial which has two zeros. I'll show you. Now we'll take one example where we have a polynomial function with two zeros. Let's take this polynomial function. Px is nothing but x square minus 4. This is a quadratic polynomial of degree 2. And now we'll try to find a zero of this polynomial. Let's find p0. p0 is nothing but 0 square minus 4, that is minus 4 p of 1, p of 1 is nothing but 1, 1 square minus 4 that is minus 3, p of mi minus 1 is nothing but minus 1 square minus 4 that is again 1 minus 4 that is minus 3, p of 2 is nothing but 2 square minus 4 that is 
4 minus 4 that is 0 p of minus 2 is nothing but minus 2 square minus 4 that is 4 minus 4 that is 0 p of 3 is nothing but 3 square minus 4 is nothing but 9 minus 4 that is 5 and p of minus 3 is nothing but minus 3 square minus 4 that is 9 minus 4 that is 5 correct we can take more point but this many points are more than enough for us so this point is nothing but 0 comma minus 4 e of 0 this point is nothing but 1 comma minus 3 this point is minus 1 comma minus 3 this point is nothing but 2 comma 0 this point is minus 2 comma 0 this point is 3 comma 5 and this point is minus 3 comma 5 the other points we have got let's plot this this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Correct? This point is 0, comma minus 4. So let's plot this. 0, comma minus 4 is this point. Second point is 1 comma minus 3, 1 comma minus 3 is this point. Third point is minus 1 comma minus 3 is this point. Then 2 comma 0 is this point. Minus 2 comma 0 is this point. 3 comma 5 is this point. And minus 3 comma 5 is this point. Let's join these points. So we join these points, we get graph like this. something like this right this is the graph we got now since it's extending this these two lines will never get more opportunity to meet x's again and we see that this graph meets the x's at two points this and this so we can say that the number of zeros for this is two, two zeros and the values are this is minus two comma zero and this is two comma zero so values are two and minus two whether zeros of px are 2 and minus 2 and the number is nothing but they are two zeros and the value is 2 and minus 2. So here what we have seen we have seen a polynomial quadratic polynomial which has two zeros. In the earlier slides we have seen a quadratic polynomial with nil zeros and one zeros and now we have seen a quadratic polynomial with two zeros. So in total we have seen quadratic polynomial with nil 0, 1 0 and 2 0. So we can say that quadratic polynomial will have at the max 2 zeros, 0, 1 or Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.